There's a lot of different sealants and a lot of different formulations on the market, and sometimes it's hard to understand what makes up the actual product and what you should be using for your needs. So today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we're gonna be talking about performance of different types of sealant and what it means for your metal roof installation. What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. All the questions that we're gonna be discussing today about sealant are located in the description below. You can jump ahead to any of those. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're new, we release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well, today we are taking a look at sealant performance and what makes up formulations of different types of sealant that you see on the market and what you should be using for something, say, like a metal roof installation. Well, at Sheffield Metals, we use and promote NovaFlex from NovaGuard. It's our sealant of choice. Uh, we sell it to contractors all over the country and all over the world. So today I have Joe Borak from NovaGuard Solutions here, and he's gonna talk us through this concept of sealant performance hierarchy. So Joe, tell me first a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the company. What do you guys do? Yeah, first of all, thanks for the invite to come and join you today. Um, again, my name's Joe Borak. Um, my position here at NovaGuard, I'm the VP of uh, building systems, industrial hybrids, PVC foam, and also a leisure pool and spa divisions. A um, little background about the company. Uh, we've been in business uh, for 43 years. Um, we're privately owned, based in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, some of the products we make, we make uh, silicones, hybrids, and PVC foam. Um, some examples of each one, uh, our PVC foam division actually started 43 years ago. It's called Foam Seal. Um, some of the products we make are weather stripping, engine and door compartment foam, and also appliances and HVAC systems. Um, they utilize our foams in those applications. Um, regarding the hybrids, our industrial hybrid division, we sell mostly the tractor trailer manufacturers, buses, and also for windshield applications to help uh, install windshields on commercial um, uh, uh, automotive applications. Um, our silicones uh, are mostly used in electronics, automotives, transportation. Also, we have thermally conductive silicones for EVs, which are electric vehicles and battery installations. And the division that we're talking about today is called our building system division. And we launched um, our initial product 33 years ago called NovaFlex. Um, it started off in the window and door industry. And when that industry was transitioning from aluminum windows to vinyl windows, we were one of the first products to it actually adhere really well to the vinyl windows. So that's how we got started uh, making NovaFlex in the industry. Um, nine years ago, we launched a product called our metal roof sealant, and uh, it is geared towards metal roofing, metal building, metal wall panels, and it is a very user-friendly product that installers like and uh, end users love because it lasts for a very long time. So in a nutshell, that is our company and what we do uh, at NovaGuard uh, here in Cleveland. So you have a true history of sealants and those types of products. So you really know what you're talking about. And, and, and let's go back to what I said before about that sealant performance hierarchy. Tell me a little bit about that and tell me about the different types of sealants that are out there, formulations, things like that, that people should know about. Yeah, so we put together the sealant hierarchy uh, chart and it goes from bottom to top and it's all based on performance. So there's basically five categories or five chemistries of sealants and caulks in the construction industry that we see day in and day out. Um, the bottom layer is what we call latex, acrylics, and water-based um, caulks. And they are organic in nature. They have carbon in their chemical makeup that needs water uh, in the formulation to get it out of the cartridge. And once it's out of the cartridge, the water evaporates, which will cause shrinking and cracking, sometimes up to 40%. Um, some other um, applications is, is also for interior painting. So they'll put it around windows and it's, it's actually a good, a good product for that application. If it's used exteriorly, um, it could wash away if it rains within 48 hours. So that's some of the drawbacks, but also some of the, the benefits of using a, a latex, an acrylic, or a water-based product. 
Um, going up the ladder, um, there are solvent-based products. Uh, they're solvent-based caulks. Again, they're organic in nature, and they will degrade over time as well because there's carbon in the chemical makeup. Um, they generally are hard to work with and hard to clean up. So some of the guys out there that are using solvent-based uh, sealants, they, you, can, you can spot them because they have sealants all over their bodies, all over their clothes, because they wipe it off as they go and it doesn't come off. But uh, again, uh, like water-based products, they put solvents in their chemical makeup to get it out of the cartridge. And once it's out of the cartridge, the solvents will evaporate, which can pose, potentially cause shrinking and cracking. Um, they are also hard and stiff to work with in colder weather to get it out of the cartridge. So you'll see a lot of guys put um, solvent-based products on their dashboards on the way to the job sites to warm them up uh, to get it out of the cartridge. But solvent-based products have been a while for, around for a long time, and there's there's some solid uh, solid uh, um, uh, competition out there with with products, and they've been around for a while, and they actually work pretty well in specific applications. Um, going up the chart uh, would be polyurethanes. Um, again, they're organic in nature and they will degrade over time. Um, they have tendencies to be hard to work with and actually pull away and crack from the substrates. Sometimes you may need a primer uh, before applying on some substrates and, and they as well are, are stiff to gun out in colder weather. But polyurethanes have been around a long time they are probably the most specified product out in the market today because they were specified about 15 to 20 years ago and architects uh, don't like going back and changing specs for sealants, but um, you will see them on specifications quite a bit. Um, up the ladder, we go to modified silicones and we actually have a modified silicone called Novabond, but they as well are organic in, in nature. There's carbon in their chemical makeup and they will degrade over time. Uh, one of the benefits is modified silicones give you paintability. They have very low shrinkage, but they do get hard after the cure. So once you gun it out, it cures seven to 14 days and the actual product will be a hard cure. So it'll be kind of when you touch, it, it's kind of stiff. So, uh, but, but modified silicones are going right up that ladder and they're actually second best to um, uh, silicones and silicones um, are inorganic in chemical nature and they will not degrade over time. Uh, they remain permanently flexible and you can extrude them out down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, a lot of the products will cure within 24 hours. Um, and one thing about silicones is that they're not paintable. That's why they come in a bunch of different colors. So there's one drawback with silicones is that they're not paintable, but Overall, when you want something that's gonna last, um, there is nothing better than a silicone sealant. Now, uh, talking about silicones, they, there's four cousins in the construction industry. Um, there's oxime cured silicones, there's acetoxy cured silicones, there's alkoxy cured silicones, and there's acetone cured silicones. And what we uh, manufacture here at NovaGuard uh, predominantly are oxime cured silicones and they have a very low odor. They adhere to a bunch of different substrates, very, very contractor friendly. And uh, we have a whole spectrum of colors that we produce here. But regarding seal and hierarchy, those are the five key chemistries that we see in the construction industry. So this is the list of performance hierarchy, but does this translate to cost as well? Yes, and uh, depending on the environment around us, um, like I, I've been with Novgaard for 12 years now, and back then um, our product was less expensive than solvent-based because solvents were pretty expensive for raw materials back in the day. But all in all, I would say most of these products are relatively similar in price, and it's it just depends on the actual application that the contractor uh, needs to perform. So they all have their own place in the construction industry. All of the products listed there are, are, are very good products. And they actually, uh, the way they, uh, they compare and contrast to one another is just the way the manufacturer makes the products. So they could make it, make one of their products uh, quicker curing or slower tack time or slower cure time, depending on the application that they're targeting. So um, all of them are different in their own right, and they're all very good products. 
Now you said you had a metal roofing product as well, and we're definitely familiar with that. Can you talk to us about that, and where does that fall in the spectrum and the performance hierarchy? Yes, yes. Our, our metal roof sealant uh, is the product uh, that uh, is specified with Sheffield Metals and sold through Sheffield Metals. Um, we launched this product nine years ago, and uh, it is an oxime cured silicone, so it gives you all the performance characteristics as far as uh, will not degrade over time, it's permanently flexible, um, will not shrink or crack, and uh, um, it, overall, a longevity. Um, it's going to give you long-term long -term durability for your applications. And being on a roof or on a building or on a wall panel, that is vitally important is the longevity of the product. So what are some of the features and benefits that we can expect from a silicone product uh, like the NovaFlex for the metal roofing? Yeah, glad you asked that. Um, some of the some of the characteristics that we see in our products is that it, it offers you permanent flexibility. Um, it will not shrink or crack uh, over time. It will not sag or slump when the guys are gunning it out. Um, overall, it gives you a weather tight seal uh, when you need it. And also, um, we talked about the adhesion to many different building substrates, um, brick, metals, glass, uh, masonry. This Silicones, uh, depending on the uh, chemical makeup of it, the oxime cured silicones will adhere to all of those. Um, another important fact is that once it's cured between 24 and 48 hours, it gives you a waterproof seal. And what we do here at Novagard, we also add a mold and mildew uh, biocide into our products, which will re resist mold and mildew growth, especially if you're going over clean substrates. Um, what you guys have found at Sheffield Metals also is that it's easily gunned at all temperatures. So it's gonna gun the same in the middle of the winter time as it does the middle of the summertime. So in the winter time, it's not gonna get real stiff. And in the summertime, it will not fall out of the tubes. So um, guys really appreciate that, that uh, uh, performance characteristic of it. Um, being that it is a silicone, it is uh, green naturally. We don't have to do anything to the product reformulating wise. And it's, uh, uh, it, it is green building compliance and also it's VOC compliant in all 50 states. Um, another big thing that guys like is the toolability of it. If they gun a big bead around a uh, penetration, uh, it's, it's very easy to tool. Um, it wipes right off their hands with a rag, a wet rag, and also it's low odor and solvent free. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that and uh, with uh, homeowners and things along those lines. But Actually, you can use this product both interiorly and externally on, on buildings and not have a problem uh, with Miss Smith and the odor. So it's a, it's a very, very user-friendly product and it, uh, the performance characteristics put it head and shoulders above all of our competition. Yeah, and that's something that I'd like to talk about more. You know, if somebody would ask us, you know, as Sheffield Metals, why should, you know, why do we promote NoFlex specifically? Well, how, how, does it, how are they different from other brands, other competition out there? Can you talk to me about some specific things? Yeah, well, b b bottom line is it eliminates callbacks. So once you put whatever bead you put out on your particular application, it's going to stay there. It's not going to shrink. It's not going to evaporate. And at the end of the day, um, their name is on the line for each particular job. So if they want to go out there, do it once, do it right, and get off the job as, you know, as quickly as possible and not have any callbacks. And with NovaFlex, it virtually eliminates callbacks. And we, we did do a video about uh, when and when not to use sealant on a metal roof installation with our technical director uh, a few months ago. So you guys definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description for you to watch that video as well. Uh, we just really appreciate our partnership with Sheffield Metals uh, and, this, and this channel. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to come on and chat a little bit about sealants. Um, most people uh, out there in the field, they, they, they call sealants either silicone or, or caulk or whatever, and they really don't understand the difference between the chemistries. But there is a huge difference, and the guys and, and, and girls that actually do the installations and understand the features and benefits of the five different chemistries, they could utilize them all and uh, have successful results. But uh, uh, we, we really uh, appreciate uh, the partnership that we have with Sheffield. So thank you again for the opportunity. Yeah, well, thank you, Joe. And thanks to Novogard as well. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'd love to answer them. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel for more. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.